ஹலோ டிகீஸ் இன் அவர் ப்ரீவியஸ் டுடோரியல் வி ஹவ் லேர்ன் ஹவு டு அப்லோட் ஃபைல்ஸ் ஆர் ஃபோல்டர்ஸ் பை யூசிங் அப்லோட் ஃபைல்ஸ் டு எஃப்டிபி ஆக்ஷன் அலாங் வித் தட் வி ஹவ் சீன் டு அப்லோட் தி ஃபோல்டர்ஸ் வி ஹவ் யூட் அப்லோட் ஃபோல்டர்ஸ் டு எஃப்டிபி ஆக்ஷன் நவ் இன் திஸ் டுடோரியல் வி வில் லேர்ன் ஹவு டு ஒர்க் வித் டவுன்லோட் ஃபைல்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் எஃப்டிபி ஆக்ஷன் before learning about that action first of all we will see what are the use cases that we are going to work in the particular tutorial if you see on my screen i am having four different use cases first one how to download a single file by using download files from action second one download multiple files which has same type for an example if i am having the extension type with the ppt and i want to download multiple files which are related to the same type then how can i go ahead and implement by using download files from ftp action and the third one there is the specific case you asked by the user he is unable to download the files from the ftp site using log files we will see that as a third use case and finally we will see download multiple files from different types for example in my ftp server in the particular working directory if i am having dot pdf files excel files ppt files and what not apart from that i want to download multiple files like multiple file types like dot ppt along with excel sx files how can we go ahead and download them these are the four use cases which we are going to work as part of this tutorial all right first of all we'll start with download files from ftp action parameters first let me clear this upload files to ftp action as well as upload folders to ftp action let me delete them now to download the files from the particular ftp server how can we go ahead and do that we can use download files from ftp action let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace now first of all we'll see the parameters the main purpose of this action is to download one or more files from the particular ftp server all right for that we are going to give the ftp connection over here as we have already seen the ftp connection is we are having 192.168.1.6 as my ftp server and you can see over here we want to download into the folder so for suppose if i'm having the files i'm going from the ftp server where i need to store all these files so we are going to mention a folder over here in my case i'm going to use e colon ftp download this is the path which i'm going to use it to download all the files from the particular ftp server and you can see over here files to download this is the file which we are going to give it so which files that you want to download over here and transfer type as we have already seen we are having three types one is auto binary and the ascii these are the three types that what we have i'm going to use auto only over here and the final parameter if you see if files exist again over here if in the particular folder the file is already exist in that case do you want to override the file or don't download or download with unique name these are the parameters what we have right now i'm going to use overriding the files all right over here download into folder i'm going to give it the same path which i want to download i have already created on my local now i'm going to give the same path like download into folder that is e colon ftp download is the folder which i want to download all the files and over here this is the main parameter over here files to download at the first use case i want to download single file okay if you see in my ftp server i am having different directories one is document learning text actions pdf automation and the directory project 1 directory project 2 if you go into the project 1 i am having different files you can see i am having different file extensions that i have one is pdf pptx another one you can see logs excel sx file that is nothing but 
PDF files, presentation files, Excel files, and the log files which we have inside that. Along with that, you can see the directory also. All right now, I want to download the specific file or single file. How can I go ahead and do that? Now, if you see, I'm going to copy this. I want to download day 10 Power Automate Desktop Conditional Actions .pptx. I want to download that specific file from the particular FTP server. Now, I'm going to give the same file over here. You can see files to download. This is the single file, right? So that I'm going to give it as day 10 and the extension with the .pptx. All right. Now let me click on save. Now we have the first use case. We are going to download single file by using download files from FTP action. Before running this flow, let me show you the path over here. In my E colon FTP download, I don't have any files. Let's run the flow to see the output. And at the same time, I'm going to keep this folder side by side to make you understand. Flow execution started. And you can see by using download files from FTP, it has been downloaded successfully with the single file. That is the file is we have given the name as day 10 power automate desktop conditional actions. All right, this is my first use case. Now, the second use case is nothing but we are having download multiple files, which has same type. All right. Now, let me go back to my FTP server. Now, if you see, I'm having multiple files over here, right? With the different extension types, right? Now, I want to download all the files which are having the extension with the pptx. How can I go ahead and do that? This is nothing but multiple files I'm going to download at the same time. Now, I'm going to make the changes in my download files from the FTP server, from FTP. There, I'm going to give the extension over here. If you see the files to download, I'm going to give it as star. Star is nothing but I want to download all the files with, which are having the extension with .pptx. Nothing but presentation files I want to download. Now, let me click on save. Now, once again, if you see, I'm having only one file which has been downloaded. Let me delete that to make you understand. Now, my entire folder that is FTP download is empty. Now, once I will execute this flow, I will get all the files from the FTP server. I will download the files which are related to the presentation that is .pptx. All right. Now, let's go ahead. Let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And you can see right now, all the files which are having the extension or the file type with .pptx has been downloaded successfully. Now, let's go back to the FTP server. There you can see I'm having all the pptx that even I'm having PDF also, which has not downloaded. The PDF is not downloaded. And there you can see all the files which are related to the PPT has been downloaded successfully. This is my second use case. Now we'll go for the third use case. Okay, this use case has been asked by one of the user. Now let me show you that. If you see over here, the user asked one of the question over here that he's unable to download files from the FTP site using star.log. We'll implement the same thing over here. If you observe, he's unable to download the files with the extension that is .log files. Now, if you see in my FTP server in the particular subdirectory that is project one, I'm having log files. You can see log details as well as windows update .log. These two files that what we have inside the subdirectory the, or the working directory project one. Now I want to download all the files which are having with the log extension. How can I go ahead and do that? Here also it is very simple. Now I'm going to delete this tor.pptx and I'm going to replace with star.log. Log is the dot log is the extension that what we have. All right. Now let me click on save. 
now before executing what i'm going to do i'm going to delete all these files or i will keep it because of we're having with the extension star.pptx only all right let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started now the flow has been executed successfully now if you observe i'm having the files log details another one windows update these are all the extensions with the dot log all right that's why we are able to download this log files successfully and i hope the specific case related to dot log has been successfully executed in this specific case all right now we have another use case that is download multiple file types nothing but if we want to download all the files with multiple file types in that case how can we go ahead and do that now if you see over here i'm going to download files from ftp action let's click on that now i want to make the changes over here in the files to download let's assume i want to download the ppt all the ppt files along with the log files also at the same time how can i go ahead and do that now before going to make the changes first of all let me go to the ftp server there you can see i'm having log files along with that i'm having ppt pdf and excel files also along with that that we are having one of the software that is power automate desktop also in my project one all right now i want to get it only ppt files along with that log files that i need to get it so the changes is like that we have to give over here percentage square brackets and you have to mention the extension over here in the single quote now if you see how i am going to give it single quote dot star dot pptx closing single quote comma again for the logs also what i'm going to do i'm going to start with single quotes and there you can see star dot log and then i'm going to give the single quote once again and then i'm going to close the square bracket and then finally i'm going to give it a percentage over here this is the way how i have to give it you can see percentage square bracket in single quotes i have to give the extension that is star dot pptx and again with the comma separated i need to give single quotes again with the star dot log and i have to close the square bracket and then i am going to end with percentage all right let me save it and before running this flow i'm i have cleared all the ftp download you can see over here in this folder i don't have any files once i will run this flow what will happen by using download files from ftp action it will download all the ppt as well as log files at the same time by using this flow all right let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started now you can see it is trying to download all the files from the ftp server right now you can see i have downloaded all the ppt as well as the log files by using download files from the ftp server right in a such a way if you are having more than if you want to add one more extension in that case what you can do you can give by the comma separated over here over here what we can do i i can specify comma and there what i will do i will give the file name in single quotes all right i hope you understand how to download files from the ftp server by using download files from ftp action and also we have seen different use cases in a such a way how to download a single file from the ftp server how to download multiple files which has same type that is dot pptx and also we have seen the specific use case which customer requested that is unable to download files from the ftp site using start dot log and after that we have seen how to download multiple file types that is more than one type by using download files from ftp server in the next tutorial we will learn how to download folders from the ftp server by using download folders from ftp action as part of the power automate desktop 
Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.